So welcome to the, the last episode, the last video of World 101X. And we thought we'd do a bit of a wrap up and revisit some of the um, themes that we've covered, some of the insights um, that we've gotten and some of the insights our students have gotten. What is anthropology? That's what where it all began. <laughs> and, and it was a question I think that every week in the, in the discussion kept coming up. Mm -hmm. And certainly in some of the responses on the discussion board we saw that that's one of the things people's ideas really changed a lot. And I think particularly in terms of engaged and public anthropology, I know that we saw a lot of people talking on the discussion board about the fact that they thought that anthropology was a very academic discipline in the sense that it remains within the university and they were quite surprised to see, I guess, the side of, of activist anthropology or engaged anthropology and that that's actually a really big part of what it is to be a practicing anthropologist in contemporary society. And, and after the what is anthropology, the sort of nuts and bolts, we went straight in interviewing Ghassan Haj on nationalism and multiculturalism. And then the, the second module was all about indigeneity. We followed UQ anthropologists into the field. Annie Ross to Gamanjuru near Toowoomba, mm -hmm. David Trigger and Richard Martin up to the Gulf Country in northern Queensland. Uh, and then also in the museum looking at objects and material culture, how students themselves thought of their own objects in their, in their homes. And, mm. It was great to see lots of different objects um, coming up and we curated some of them uh, on Facebook and on Twitter. And a lot of focus on technology which also brings me back to one of the other themes of the discussion that came up a lot during the indigeneity module that a lot of people were realising that this idea of indigeneity isn't necessarily an idea that's linked exclusively to history that it's also a term that's very politically charged and it changes and is fluid and dynamic so that was a real shift in the way that people were talking about these sorts of issues on the discussion board that we saw by the end of that module. Talking to um, Conrad, for instance, in Gamanjuru, really brought out what land means for Indigenous people, you know, contemporary uh, Indigenous people, and how they themselves are agents of change in some of these debates. So I think that was really important to, to include that. And of course there was a really beautiful focus on what the idea of home is to different people. And we saw a lot of people talk about home as, as where family is and where the heart is and where people have special relationships that are supportive in their lives. So I think that was a really beautiful part of engaging with the discussion board for me. So from indigeneity we moved to life within limits. By seeing how other people live within limits in different societies I think that a lot of people started to revalue what it is that they live with in their own lives as well. So we had a lot of people writing on the discussion board that there were things that they wouldn't take for granted anymore, that they wouldn't take for granted the fact that it's so easy in some countries to access water. Similarly with material culture in Cuba, I think a lot of people realised what might be the limits in their own lives and how they might be different, but also the sorts of limitations that might be present in other people's lives that we don't have to grapple with in our own societies. I remember at the start we were a little wary about providing a strict definition of anthropology because we wanted to show the multiplicity of the roles that anthropologists can play. But I think it would be really interesting to illustrate these sorts of ideas about the multiplicity um, of understandings of anthropology, um, not just through these videos, but also by taking a look at the sorts of posts that people have been making on the discussion board. So Gerhard and I have picked out a couple uh, to show to everyone of some of, some of the highlights of, of things that people have taken away from the course or ways that people's thinking um, has started to shift. And here they are. Here they are. So probably everyone knows that the discussion board will be closing down on the 27th of October. However, that's not the absolute end of the MOOC material itself. A lot of people are subscribed to the YouTube channel already and I, I again would say please go out and subscribe to it because we have a lot of bonus material coming up. We've got a bonus episode that we have yet to film and we're sort of hoping to 
to have a lot of material being released until we rerun the course next year. We hope that you stay engaged in anthropology and, and, and keep reading and keep looking at stuff uh, and, and just keep on learning. Well anyway, it's been a really exciting ride for us to put the course together and to be able to speak with all the people that we've been able to speak with. Thanks for being part of the journey. See you soon.